Hi friends, today we are discussing about the kinetics coming under physical pharmaceutic 2 in 4th semester B farm under the chapter chemical kinetics and drug stability. It is a very very important question. Let's start the journey. So these are the two mode of question we can see or expect as a long essay. Define first order rate reaction with suitable example. Deduce an equation for the determination of rate constant, half life, and shelf life for the first order reaction kindly. The same question pattern, the different that is, they will ask also for the zero order reaction with suitable example. Same thing, they are also asking to deduce the equation for the determination of rate constant, half life, and shelf life for zero order kinetics. So let us see how we can define. First of all, we want to know the three concepts. What is rate constant? That is, if it's changing any conditions of the reaction, what happened? For example, temperature or solvent, or if you reduce the concentration of reacting species, etc., that may result in change in the specific rate constant, small k. And half-life means what? That is, the time required for one half of the material that is half of the material to disappear for example if you are taking an amount of drug as capital a the time required to reduce to half of this a initial concentration we are putting as a0 so that's why we are telling half of a0 but in case of shelf life we are telling it is the time required for 10% of the material to disappear instead of 50% of material. So, we can tell as it is the time at which A has decreased to 90% of the original concentration. So, by seeing the basic reaction rate constant unit, we can find out whether it is zero order, first order or second order reaction. For example, in case of zero order reaction, we can see the unit as moles liter per second. For a first order reaction, it is per minute or per second like that. As well as for a second order reaction, it is liter per second per mole. So, we are coming to the point. First of all, what is zero order reaction? So, first we have to tell that the zero order reaction is a reaction in which the rate of the reaction is independent of the concentration of reactant. So, this rate of the zero reaction do not vary with increase or increase decrease in the concentration of the reactant so they also ask us about example so the color fading of a multi sulfur product can be a good example of zero order reaction for example we can see the rate of color loss from the multi sulfur product and it is independent of the concentration of the colorant used. So, how we can express this rate of reaction? For example, dz by dt is equal to k0. So, these are the three equations there. This is the dz by dt is equal to k0 is the reaction rate constant t half that is to reduce to half of the concentration. So, we are telling minus dA by dt is equal to k0 and when we integrate the equation we are getting as values a0 to t is equal to minus k0 into integral 0 to t like that so finally we are getting the equation as K0 is equal to A0 minus AT by T, where the initial concentration corresponding to A0 and C0 is the initial concentration or the concentration remaining at time T. So, we can tell that 
most of the photochemical degradation are classified as zero order kinetics so when we plot the equation that is k0 is equal to c0 minus ct by t that is when we plot the concentration versus time we are getting a straight line like this and the slope of the line is equal to minus k0 so this is the linear plot of concentration versus time for a zero order reaction so the initial concentration corresponding to a0 and the concentration remaining at time t as c then we want to think about the half life half life means what the time required to reduce to half so we can tell it as t half is equal to a0 by 2k0 and shelf life is equal to 0.1 a0 by k0 so this is a this is one example next one is first order reaction so if the rate of your reaction depend on the concentration of only one reactant it is called as a first order reaction sometimes this first order reaction also referred to as a uni molecular reaction so decomposition of the hydrogen peroxide is a good example of first order reaction or you can tell the acid hydrolysis of ethyl acetate and methyl acetate inversion of sugar and number of examples are the having biological important like diffusion absorption distribution metabolism rate of killing like that so here we are considering a product a according to the definition of first order reaction it is converting to the reaction so minus dc by dt here we are telling one reaction one reactant is responsible so we are telling as minus dc by dt is equal to k1c so like previously here also we are integrating and we are getting dc by c is equal to minus k1 into integral of dt and when we interchange the side and converting into the logarithm to the base 10 we are getting this equation that is log ct is equal to log c0 minus k1t by 2.303 and by rearranging this equation we are getting the k rate constant is equal to 2.303 by t into log c0 by ct okay so this equation permit how we can calculate the reaction rate constant and we can obtain the specific rate constant by plotting the log concentration versus time so ct for every equation you have to write what are the constant ct is the concentration at remaining at time t c0 is the initial concentration where capital k is the reaction rate constant and t half is equal to half life so here the half life also as well as shelf life we have to tell here half life already we discussed the time required to reduce the concentration to half of this initial concentration so for the first order reaction half life is equal to 0.693 by k1 so the units are the time units like hours minutes or second whereas this shelf life means what the time required to reduce the concentration to 90 percentage so for the first order reaction the t half instead of t half we are telling as shelf life as t90 
T90 is equal to 0 0.105 divided by K. So initially when we plot like this we are getting this curve and when we convert or to find out the concentration we are plotting log concentration versus time that is using the equation log ct is equal to log c0 minus kt by 2.303 where the log c0 is the intercept and by plotting the values we are getting a slope is equal to minus k by 2.303 thereby we can find out the rate constant so we have to prepare like this first what is the define definition write an example expand the determination of reaction rate constant then shelf life as well as half life so hope this is another example for the first order reaction hope this session will be helpful. If you find helpful, please share to your friends. Thank you for subscribing and listening.